Hello, my name is Prince and welcome to this video. In this video, we'll learn how we can register rel system to Red Hat authentication portal to install and update packages on rel system. Let's move to the task. To register system to Red Hat subscription portal, execute below command subscription dash manager then the register subcommand dash dash server url use this option to provide hostname for the server you need to authenticate with so normally they should provide you server hostname by default server url is taken as subscription dot rhsm dot red hat dot com as specified by hostname directive in config file rhsm.conf on this specific path under server section. I'll show you contents of this file when we'll move to system. We know this URL is reachable on the internet and should not be used in the exam. So probably they will provide you some hostname of the server you need to register with. So if you execute command without this dash dash server URL option, so by default, it will take the hostname as specified in rhsm.con file. To override this, you must use dash dash server URL, then provide the URL you are provided with on the exam. Then press enter. Then you need to authenticate using your Red Hat credentials. After you will be authenticated, you will get message your system is registered with this server. After system is authenticated, you will be able to use repository present on some remote web server. But you must need to configure system to use that repository and we know how we can do that. This is all how we can register rel system to Red Hat portal. In case you need to subscribe, you can execute below command subscription dash manager space attach dash dash auto. On execution of this command, file with name Red Hat dot repo will be created on this path with all repositories details. This should not be needed on exam because by default it uses base URL as this URL cdn.redhat.com as specified in rhsm.con file which is again reachable over internet. On exam you should be provided base URL and other details to configure system to use repos. But here important is you must know how to register system to some Red Hat portal. Only after you will be registered you will be able to use configured repository. Now let's move to the rel system and learn how we can register system. Before we start this task we must connect our VM to internet. For this, we need to right click here, then settings, then in the network tab, enable network adapter, select here bridge adapter, by default it will select some adapter here, then hit ok, then start the VM. So after VM will be started, it will get some IP from your Wi-Fi router and it will be connected to internet. Now finally system has been started and I opened terminal window. Here I would like to mention one thing. I am using Red Hat system for this task. I am not using CentOS system. Here on the top we can see warning system not registered. Please register your system to receive software updates. You will see this warning on Red Hat 
system. But you will not see this warning on CentOS. Now what we need to do? We need to register this system. For understanding purpose, we'll use default hostname to register with. First of all, I will display rhsm.conf file. And here under server section, we can see hostname directive. So this is a URL which is default or I will say this is a hostname which is used by default to register with. And if you will go down in this section RHSM you can find base URL HTTPS colon double slash cdn dot red hat dot com this is used in case you need to subscribe which is normally should not be needed on the exam but you must know how you can do this now i will clear the screen we know which command to use i will display help for this command and here we have primary modules. So this is list of modules or I will say subcommands we can use with this command line. We need register. Register this system to customer portal. We can use list to list subscription and product information. We can also use status to show status information for the systems, subscriptions and products. To unregister we can use unregister. Here on the top we have attach. Attach a specified subscription to the registered system. Now I will clear the screen. I will display help for this command line. Here we need to use dash dash server URL to overwrite default hostname which is specified in rhsm.conf file. So make sure on the exam you are using correct hostname to register with. Probably you will need to use non-default server URL. So in that case you must use dash dash server URL option to specify non-default server hostname. Now I will clear the screen. Now to register we know we need to use register module. Here I am not using any option. I will hit enter. So here we can see registering to this hostname which is default. Now I will cancel it again. I will execute this command. This time I will use dash dash server URL option. And here I will provide same server just to understand how we can use this option. Again we have same outcome. So in case you need to use non default hostname you must use dash dash server URL option then specify non-default hostname here. Now I will provide my credentials. It can take some time. So here we have message the system has been registered with ID. This is ID and this is hostname of the system. Now I will move to path forward slash etc forward slash yum dot repos dot d and here we see no file so in case we'll subscribe say file with name red hat dot repo will be created on this path with all details about repositories then you will be able to install packages but normally on the exam you will need to manually configure system to use repositories. For this 
you must be provided with all the required details. However, I will explain how we can subscribe. For this, we need to use attach. I will display help for this command line. We can use dash dash auto automatically attach compatible subscriptions to this system. So this is default action. We'll use default. There are multiple options you can use to subscribe. Attach dash dash auto. It can take some time. So finally we have outcome. So system status is subscribed. Now again I will list contents of this directory. We have red hat dot repo file here. I will display this file. So here you can see different repositories. So there are many. Now I will execute yum repo list or dnf repo list. So this is updating management repositories. So we have repositories available. I will try installing one package to make sure this is working. Again it can take some time because this is updating. So data is or packages are being pulled from the repositories. So now it's asking for confirmation. Now we can see package installation is in progress. It's completed. So it means everything is fine. I will clear the screen. To list installed product, we can execute this command with list module. Again, it will take some time. Here we have output. So status is subscribed. And we have product name, product ID and more details. So having already said, you must know how you can register system. Normally you will not need to subscribe. But in case you will need, you know how to do this. In case we need to unregister we can use unregister module. This is all we need to do. We don't need to even provide credentials. Again, I will list contents of this directory. File is still there. Now I will display contents. Now here you can see all the data is removed. Now again, I will execute DNF repo list. You will see this error. This system is not registered to Red Hat subscription management. You can use this command line to register. No repositories available. This is normal. We know why this error is shown. Also one more thing I would like to tell. This is not always mandatory to register system to use repositories. So this is up to Red Hat how they configure the system. So you must know in case you need to register the system. This is all about this lecture.